Okay, so after we saw in the previous videos and uh, you have learned how the hackers, the real hackers actually is creating all of the hacking hyperlinks and all of the, the phishing uh, fake websites. So right now I will teach you how these hackers actually is, um, is able to clone and to copy any website design. Okay, so for example, if you have any website so of course uh, um, each victim will be differentiated from another so for example if you want to hack a specific person and you know the personality of this person and all of the interesting uh, websites that maybe this person will be interested in so for example you can actually go and visit uh, one of these websites okay and start the cloning and the downloading the same the same design uh, uh, web pages of this website and after that we can actually upload all of these cloned uh, website to our hacking server and sending uh, for example this hyperlink to um, to our uh, to our uh, uh, to our victim and after that wait until this victim is, is try to log in using uh, our fa our faking login page of course and after you know giving us the, the email and the password we will capture these credentials as you saw before in the previous videos so how actually the hackers can be able to do something like this so in this video we'll learn actually uh, one of the best tools to clone any any website in the wallet so right now I'm navigating to this website and um, as uh, as I mentioned before all of these hyperlinks will be listed in the resources uh, files uh, in this training course so just navigate to the resources section and see all of the text files available uh, for you so right now uh, I will I am going to use actually this tool and this tool is called HTT track uh, website copier and this tool it's very old and very effective till now so let's let's start using this tool after navigating to the to the official website of this tool you will see right now you can you can download this tool uh, this tool for example for the windows platform for the linux and also for the android okay so you have all these packages right here and also they have actually a package for the mac os operating system but we don't care about all of this so right now i'm just going to use the windows version but also you can actually use the linux version on, uh, on your uh, Kelly Linux machine don't worry about it but uh, because uh, this this tool actually is having a Windows version so I'm going to use this version okay so I have actually downloaded uh, and, uh, and then installed this tool on my machine so I will just uh, search right here to this tool and as you can see Okay, so the tool is right here. Okay, so I have I have actually uh, navigated to my desktop and just uh, double click on the on the icon on this uh, of this program. So after the program actually is going to open, it will be uh, having this interface. So I will just click on next. So the first thing right here, it will ask me actually for uh, what is the name of this project. So for example, I will I will name it hacking social media okay and after that I will click on next so actually uh, right here as you can see this is uh, the default directory that our our cloned website will be saved for it's actually under the C partition on the my websites folder okay so right now it's telling me to add the the web uh, the web url that i want to clone so for example right here i'm going to clone this website certified the certified hacker website right here for example okay so as you can see this website is having this uh, this uh, beautiful design this design is very very uh, simple and we have right here all of these images all of this slider everything so i will show you right now how we can we can be able to clone the same website like this so we will have actually an identical website like this so i will take this hyperlink and go back to our program right here and after that I will click on set options 
and click on the scan rules and for the scan rules actually you can right here determine what actually is the file type that you want uh, to, to be cloned so for example if you checked all of these um, three checkboxes so all of the the common extensions for all of the the files types will be actually cloned during the process so i will just click on ok and click on next next again okay and as you can see the cloning process will be stored right here it will actually clone everything all of the style files all of the javascript files and also all of the html files and as as you know uh, these actually files is um, is the content of any web pages in the wallet so each way uh, web, any web page in the wallet actually is um, has been created by these three files the html file that containing all of the elements for the page and also the css files that is containing all of the styling and all of the colors and all of this kind of stuff and also the javascript uh, uh, files that containing all of the animation codes and all of the interaction as uh, interactive uh, code uh, on the on the front end so uh, for example the code actually is running uh, this uh, uh, slider image actually is created by javascript for example so all of these files will be cloned by our program right here so I will just stop um, stop the, uh, the video until the process is done because maybe this process will take um, a lot of time because it's actually depending on the size of the website that you are going to clone of course. Okay, so let's continue back. So after our our cloner actually is finished right, right here. So we'll just click on finish and close our application and I will navigate to the directory that my website has been cloned to so as you can see right here this is the directory so let's try to open this cloned website okay so as you can see it's actually identical website of the of the original website right here and as you can see even the slider function is running Okay, so even the JavaScript codes is also has been cloned and uh, all of the functionality, all of the design, all of the colors is actually uh, an identical copy of the original one. So right here you have actually all of the source code of this web page. So for example, we can actually change the login, the login URL right here with our fake login, login page of course, and steal all of the credentials that we want and we will see actually uh, some examples of these in the later in during our training course i will show you how how to just you know edit some uh, some codes inside these files and also if you don't have any experience uh, in the programming languages so don't worry because all of the, uh, the modifications that i am i'm going to um, to try and, uh, and apply on this course will be very very simple and it will be understood by any by any level of experience you don't have to have any any previous programming experience or anything i will just uh, teach you the basics and the fundamentals of the programming uh, modifications that's it okay so right right now we have actually learned together how the, the real hackers is cloning any website to trick um, their victims so see you in the next video